Hi, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to create this scrunchie from the hair necessities set. Um, so for this project you will need the hair necessities pattern, you will need um, either a circular knitting needle or some double pointed knitting needles to work this in the round. Um, you will need some and make DK yarn. This colour that I'm working with today is lit. This colour here is Skylar. Um, you will also eventually need a tapestry needle to sew your scrunchie together and an elastic hairband as well. So let's show you how to work it. Now, just before we um, create our scrunchie, I needed to talk to you about blocking your work. Um, now, I know you probably don't want to do it, none of us ever do, but I wanted to show you the um, the version that I've done. It's particularly important if you've used uh, the stockinette stitch, um, or you, like me, you've done the stockinette and garter stripe stitch. Um, you can see here that the edges will always curl on stockinette stitch, which is why we quite often use ribbing or a selvage edge when we're working with stockinette so it's gonna because these edges will curl that's the the natural affinity of stockinette stitch um, we would always have to block this and what blocking will do um, is just to, to stretch out these stitches and to help to flatten out these edges which will make it a, a much much easier job for us to stitch these edges together when we create our scrunchie so I'm going to go off and block my piece now um, there's no preference with this yarn you can spread block it you could steam block it you can wet block it whichever you prefer to do but you must 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 block it before you come back to create your scrunchie so I'll go and do this now and I'll see you again in a minute okay so now that we've blocked our piece you can see here the edges are much flatter much straighter and they'll be much much easier for us to seam our scrunchie edges together so to go from our round headband shape to a scrunchie shape what we're going to do is we're going to take the piece that we've been working on um, you can see here this is the right side and this is the side that we want to be on the outside so we're going to turn this inside out so the wrong side is on the outside and then we're going to bunch this all together just gather it up in your hands it doesn't have to be done in a particular way we'll even it out when we sew our seams together okay and then we're going to take our head our hair elastic and we're just going to pop that over our bunched up fabric so you have this kind of almost like a, a bow shape here now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cast on edge and our cast off bound off edge and we're going to join these together and hopefully you've remembered to leave yourself a nice long tail when you cast off your stitches if not it's not a problem you just need to, to get yourself a nice long piece of yarn and your tapestry needle rejoin it to the edge of your piece and then we're going to work stitch by stitch around the edge of our scrunchie so you can see that by working this you can have two effects either we can work underneath the cast off stitches if you can see here if we were to insert the needle here we get another ridge when we're sewing so you can see there that we'll have a, a ridge if you prefer a smoother look you can work only through the back part of the loop of that edge and the front part of the loop on your cast on edge and that will give you a smoother finish so just continue to work I tend to work back stitch so I'll work through this stitch here and then I go back and work from the stitch behind and then bring my yarn 
two stitches ahead, work through those two. And then back into the stitch behind again. And this just gives me a nice strong seam so that the scrunchie is held securely. So what we're going to do is continue to work our cast on edge and our bind off edge together all the way around the scrunchie until we get back to the start. So I'll continue to do that and then we'll have a look at how the scrunchie looks and to finish it off and neaten it up once we've sewed it together. So once we get to our starting point again we just need to pop a couple of extra stitches in here just to make sure our ends are secure. I'm just going to loop that through there for a bit of extra security and then weave in our ends. Obviously I've got quite a long one here um, so I will just run that through some stitches. You can see here I, I chose to sew to underneath both legs of the stitch to give me this nice obvious ridge at the end of my scrunchie. I'm just going to weave that in a little way. And then you can snip your end. And this is our complete scrunchie. Now it may be that as you've been working your, your seam around, you, you have areas where it's very, very flat, very bunched up here. But if you just manipulate it round slightly, so it's quite even all the way round. And there we go, one complete scrunchie. I hope that's been useful for you. Um, we'd love to see you back here again. So do let us know in the comments below what else you would like to learn. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.